Hello, I would love to congratulate you because you have finished this input output chapter. I'm sure you have learned a lot from this chapter. Now here is the summary of the things that we have covered in this chapter. At first I started with the first C program and I explained to you its various parts. Then I explained to you the backslash characters, commands and types and I'm sure now you can explain these things to yourself if you have understood really well, that's what I'm expecting. And then I explained one of the most fundamental things for any programming language which which is basically token. Now here inside the token we explain string, punctuators, keywords, variables, operators, data type. And then I also explained you how to use some of the library function like scanf for getting user input, printf for showing the output, then get character and put character when you are dealing with single character input and output. Then also we have seen how to deal with the string input and output. For that reason we have used gets, fgets, puts and then how to convert from lowercase to uppercase or uppercase to lowercase by using two lower and two upper functions. And then I also explained about ASCII characters and ASCII values. In the end I have shown you how to do the number system conversion which means how to convert from decimal to octal, octal to uh, decimal, then decimal to hexadecimal like this. Except the binary system which is something I'm going to discuss later on. Now even though these things look very small to you at this moment but when you are moving to the bigger part then these small things will help you to build anything bigger. Remember small things matter when you are moving to the bigger things. So please try to understand this topic before moving to the next chapter.